if you've ever been to a medieval city, uh, and that they're all throughout Europe, but you know, uh, you know, e even China had had these. Um, they tend to build walls, these great stone walls around the city. And within the city, you are protected by the wall, but you're also trapped by it. And inside these cities, uh, life was pretty horrible. I mean, like compared to our, you know, what we think of today as city life, uh, you know, there was a lot of disease, there was a lot of overcrowding, horrible poverty, um, and you had no freedom. You, you would do what the king or the ruler told you to do. And there was, uh, you know, this massive world outside the wall. But most people were afraid to leave the city. And as a matter of fact, one of the punishments, if you got into trouble, if you were um, bad, they would kick you out of the city. So one of the things they would do to punish people would they would say, okay, you know, near, you have to leave the city. You know, you didn't yeah. follow our rules. We're going to banish you. And you'd usually die. Um, but the question is, well, what happens to the people who are banished or who get thrown over that wall or who leave voluntarily? It doesn't matter. But then survive. Like what skills would they need outside the city wall in order to, you know, feed themselves and shelter themselves and eventually, you know, thrive? And the answer is it's a totally different set of skills than the skills you need inside the city. Like maybe inside the city you need to write and read and, you know, obey the laws. Outside the city walls, there are no laws. You can, you can break any law you want except for the laws of nature. And if you break one of the laws of nature, they kill you. You know, nature will – nature enforces, enforces all its laws basically with p capital punishment. So I wanted to draw this metaphor because I thought it's helpful to visualize somebody who is living in a walled city versus somebody who's trying to survive out in the wilderness. And that then, entrepreneurship is much more like the wilderness. 